Hi guys, it's Holly Boyer with AK Essential Wellness and I wanted to jump on today and talk to you about frankincense. This is an incredible oil that probably is my go-to oil for all the things. I use it every single day and the research is showing us just how incredible it is the more that we know about it. This is also an oil that historically has been used for thousands of years. It was brought to baby Jesus um, by the wise men and that says a lot because even back then they knew the healing properties that frankincense, myrrh, and a lot of these essential oils had. So frankincense is an oil that doTERRA historically has given away for free in December with any 200 PV order, which is incredible. This, order, this oil is super challenging to source. It's a rare oil and that's what makes it so incredible because of the healing benefits that it has. So we actually have a thing called co-impact sourcing within doTERRA where they partner with the growers globally wherever the plant material is indigenously grown and then they support them to grow the plant um, to its full process without over harvesting and pay them five times fair trade prices which was probably the biggest and most important um, reason why I joined doTERRA. I want to give you 10 reasons or 10 ways that you can use frankincense in your home. I use this every single day on my kids, my husband and I use it, and I'm just going to give you some reasons why and how I use it. Number one, this is an amazing oil to use if you are one that struggles with inflammation of the joints or discomfort. You can apply this topically with some marjoram and copaiba or by itself with a little coconut or vegetable oil and you're going to get some instant relief and comfort. I love to also take this internally in a veggie cap. You get a vegetable glycerin cap, you can purchase it at any health food store, add four drops of frankincense and four drops of marjoram just to help reduce that inflammation and help support comfort within your joints or any tissue that is causing discomfort. Number two, it is amazing oil at supporting healthy skin. I have struggled with skin my entire life and really have had to take a whole overhaul on my skin products, my makeup, all the things. I add two drops of frankincense to my moisturizers or I make my own little serum with um, jojoba oil, coconut oil, and frankincense is the number one oil I add to that. I also will add stuff like blue tansy, rose, but frankincense is the oil that is, is a staple for all my skin stuff that I make and um, has really transformed my skin. My skin has become smoother, more even skin tone, less breakouts, um, less irritations, and just an overall glow. The third way that I use frankincense is to really support mood. I really struggled with postpartum depression after my son, and so using this under the tongue a couple times a day or diffusing this oil with wild orange it can really uplift your mood, support your mood, and just um, make you feel that calm, like things are gonna be okay. I love learning about the brain and how the oils actually act on the brain. It is absolutely positively mind-blowing. I love to use frankincense to support healthy cell proliferation. In this day and age, we are ridden with toxins. The latest medical journal I read, they took cord blood from a baby girl within 12 hours and she already had 200 carcinogenic chemicals on board from what she absorbed in utero with mother. All that to be said, we live in a toxic soup where we are constantly bombarded with toxins, whether it be from cell phone radiation, from pesticides, what's in our food, what's in our beauty and our cleaning products, all the things. So really supporting healthy cell proliferation is the beginning and the foundation for reducing um, inflammation in the body and preventing disease before it happens. Pretty much all disease starts at the root with um, unhealthy cell pro proliferation. So this is a game changer. I take a veggie cap with frankincense, lemon, um, turmeric, copaiba, and pink pepper and black pepper every morning and in the afternoon. I often take a drop or two of frankincense under my tongue or in a veggie cap before bed for this very reason too. Um, number five, um, this is a one that is really common in today's society. More and more people are struggling with anxiety or anxious feelings. And so frankincense is a really great oil that helps to calm the central nervous system and it can support one who is struggling with that. You could take it um, internally in a veggie cap several times a day. You could also put it topically over your heart, along your spine, in the bottoms of your feet, 
when you dilute with a vegetable or carrier oil is what we like to call it, you absorb way more of the essential oil than if you don't. So make sure you do that. I love to put a, take a roller, a glass roller, and add 10 drops of frankincense, 10 drops of wild orange, and maybe 10 drops of balance, and then fill the rest with the coconut oil and apply that along the spine and the bottoms of my feet. Number six, this oil is super supportive at supporting the messaging cells in your limbic system in your brain. And your limbic system is what houses all your trauma, your emotions, memory. And so this one is one that can really calm and support that. It soothes the one that has those feelings or maybe is struggling um, with some trauma. This is a great one to diffuse as you work through and navigate uncharted territory emotionally and you need that extra support. Diffusing frankincense with wild orange or lavender can be very supportive and just calm so that as you address these things, it don't feel you don't feel like they're gonna swallow you. Number seven, frankincense. Um, really supports your skin in a way that it helps reduce that redness or irritation or maybe you're having that puffiness maybe you've been um, triggered by some sort of stimulant that's causing an irritation I love to use frankincense topically in a rollerball um, I also love to blend it with some melaleuca and lavender and use that to just calm the skin with some fractured coconut oil it's what I used on my kids for um, as a diaper cream or just skin support for all the things uh, number eight, frankincense can be a beautiful oil you can incorporate in your sleep regimen. I think that we're in an age where we're so inundated with um, cell phones, social media, uh, stimulants, we can't turn our brain off. And so creating a beautiful sleep rhythm is essential for that. I love to use frankincense in the diffuser with a little bit of serenity or lavender or even breathe and kind of being intuitive. But this is a powerhouse oil that actually um, works synergistically and um, helps support the other oils and actually drives them deeper. Number nine, frankincense is one that every mama needs for respiratory support, especially if you have littles. I love to change things up. We have traditional oils that usually we go to, but sometimes we need to put something else in there. Um, so in the diffuser, I love to diffuse frankincense with lemon and arborvitae. It's amazing for respiratory support, especially when one is experiencing that wet cough or maybe just having, um, you know, struggling with uh, clearing the airways. I love to put it on topically on the chest. I'll also add a little myrrh in and then I'll diffuse that um, while my kids sleep or while I sleep just to help with healthy cell repair and boosting that immune system as your body is trying to heal itself um, through sleep. Number 10, frankincense is a powerhouse at supporting your hormones, ladies. We have all been there. We've all struggled with hormone support and I feel like every baby I have, it's harder and harder to support my hormones and bounce back and find a homeostasis after having a baby. So this one helps to support hormones um, in a way that they balance out. It also can help support one that is experiencing mood swings. Maybe you're experiencing dysregulation in your cycle. Helps um, ease head tension. I love to apply it along my temples or put a drop on the, the um, pad of my thumb and press it up on the roof of my mouth and hold that there for 30 seconds. It's a great tool for that, and that just helps release that head tension that you get. I usually get that um, every cycle, once a month. Um, it also can help with that stomach discomfort or like that cramping feeling. I love to apply it topically with a couple other oils like deep blue or peppermint. Um, and then I also just love to diffuse it for mood, for hormone supportive mood. Diffusing this with lemon or wild orange, even adding copaiba, um, are powerful ways that you can incorporate frankincense. So these are the top 10 ways that I use frankincense. Um, regularly, I had a hard time keeping it just to 10, but I, these are some great basic tools that I feel like every mama should know about. And if you loved watching this, feel free to share this. If you um, also like my channel and subscribe to it, I would love that. You can also follow me on my Instagram at AK Essential Wellness and Facebook, as well as I have my own personal website and blog at akessentialwellness.com. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. And lastly, one more thing. This incredible oil can be free this month for you with any 200 PV order. So if you are already on the fence about oils and you're super curious, you've been working with someone that's been sharing and teaching you, go find them and reach out and, and find out how you can get a free bottle of frankincense this December. If not, and you're interested in connecting with me, feel free to email me at hrboyer83 at gmail.com. I would love to help support you on your oil journey. I have a beautiful tribe who's doing amazing things. 
and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas.